This is episode number eight with list building master, marketing coach, and rising marketing superstar, Justin Tillman. Welcome to the Online Playmaker Sessions. This is the place for the latest What's Working Now strategies from the best online playmakers, the top marketers, the rising stars who are making it happen right now. Every week, you'll get real actionable lessons that you can take and apply immediately in your business, delivered in short 20-minute sessions. Our focus is your results. Here's your host, entrepreneur, world-class trainer, and marketing strategist, Norbert Orlowitz. Hello, online playmakers. If this is your first time tuning into the Playmaker Sessions, thank you for choosing us. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if you prefer video, our YouTube channel at onlineprofitplaybook.tv. As with all of our episodes, we have all the show notes, transcripts, and actionable tips over on the blog. Just head over to www.onlineprofitplaybook.com. You'll also be able to get access to my complimentary five-video tutorial series on building the proper foundation for your online business, as well as several other free trainings, including my Instant Income Multiplier tutorial. And if you're ready to multiply your results fast, check out the premium membership of our online profit playbook, where our guests open up their closely guarded playbooks and walk you step by step through the exact marketing funnels and sales process they use to build their audience, grow their influence, and make sales. Get the coveted online profit playbook today. Just head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers. At the tail end of 2012, Justin was slaving away in a dead-end job as a door-to-door salesman, desperate to escape from the hell of a below-minimum-wage job. Getting his lights shut off by the electric company was a monthly routine, and he was soon forced to move back in with his mom. Out of desperation, he turned to the internet because he knew people were making a killing online, he just wasn't exactly sure how. So he struggled for nine months before he made his first dollar online and another two years after that before finally discovering how to get paid to build his email list. Today, Justin lives in Westchester, New York with his fiance and has the privilege of working for himself and being financially independent. Justin spends most of his time now coaching others, showing them how to get paid to build their list and design their own lifestyle business that allows you to make enough money to go where you want, when you want, with whomever you want. This week's online playmaker, Justin Tillman. All right, welcome back everyone to another online playmaker session here. And we've got an awesome session for you here today. I'm very excited to bring on our special guest, Justin Tillman from New York. Justin, how are you doing this morning? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> that. Awesome. Awesome. Really good to have you here. Really good to have you here. I'm excited uh, to kind of get into your brain and uh, have you share with us some of your experience uh, in, in, with, with, with your journey to creating success marketing online. And uh, we're going to jump right into it here, Justin, because we want to keep these you know, as short as possible. 20 to 25 minutes is what we're going for, although it's always hard because we always get into good conversations. Right. Um, but Justin, let's let's start back at the at the beginning, not at the very beginning, but at the beginning here. Let's take our our listeners and our viewers back um, to the breakthrough moment. All right, because we all you know we get online, we get into this industry, and most of us struggle for a period of time, and then we finally create results. And right. there's usually you know either one breakthrough, usually a series of breakthroughs. Maybe it's some some mental shift that happened. Uh, maybe it's finally we started doing the activities that we were supposed to be doing. I don't know what it was for you. Uh, it right. seems to be a little bit different for everybody, but I'd love for you to share with our listeners and viewers, what was your breakthrough from struggle to success? From struggle. All right. Well, the first uh, broke th- breakthrough that I had was being broke <laughs> for the umpteenth time. You know, um, you know, I'd, I'd set, you know, set sail. I was in college, uh, set sail and, you know, have my own place. Uh, had a nine to five job. Uh, moved on to being a door to door salesman. Um, that's a real <laughs> people from thin air to buy something from you and they don't even know you can scratch. Crazy. But I was doing that 
And, um, you know, I was just so broke. I mean, I remember I was with my uh, girlfriend and, you know, there was times where the lights would shut off, you know, the Con Ed bill. We had the, and it was like a, a constant game of shuffling and to the point where I actually had to move back into my mom's house. And, I mean, I don't know if you've ever done that or you know anybody, but that is a very humbling, humbling experience after you're at 25, you know, you know, in the world and you thought you, you knew everything. Uh, so, you know, I jumped online and, you know, for most people, I'm sure the struggle sounds pretty much the same as the story, you know, you know, for a very long period of time, I think it was about nine months or so before I made my first dollar. And it was, uh, it was by accident, right? Uh, I knew that, you know, you're supposed to mail your list. They say the money's in the list. And you hear that, you know, somewhere within like your first day and like 30 days, somewhere someone tells you that there's money in the list and you hear it, but you don't really pay attention to it. And uh, I remember going on my Google account because I didn't know anything about what an autoresponder was or, you know, email blasting to multiple, you know, subscribers that were fooling something, sending an email. So I think I had like 50 of my fraternity brothers that were on like this mailing list that we all like kept in touch with each other. And there was this product that I, I remember it was like $25 and I sent it out to every single one of them individually. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them bought for 25 bucks. And I was like, this is so cool. How did I do that? And how do I duplicate that? And I kept spamming them and no bought after that. But that was my first, uh, you know, memorable experience of making. That was my first dollar online. Uh, you know, and then, you know, after that, it was, you know, two year plus struggle of just trying to duplicate that, that success of sending something out and getting somebody from somewhere in the world to buy it. And I think the big uh, breakthrough moment, which answers your question, is that I realized that I had to, you know, create my own products. You know, you can you can market other people's stuff, and that's really good. Uh, but the only way you really have full control is by, you know, creating your own stuff. And um, you know, that's what it was for me. Now that's that's a, that's a big step to, to to get out there and start to create your own products, especially with a lot of. A lot of entrepreneurs that kind of get into this industry, you know, there's a lot of people and I know for yourself as well, there's a lot of people that get started in like, let's say network marketing and, sure. and then they come online to, to try to find solutions on how to build their network marketing business using the internet. And then yeah. they get introduced to this whole online marketing world. Some people get started more in the affiliate marketing space and they're trying to, you know, sell ClickBank products and JV. There's a ton of that. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a ton of that, right? So, and it doesn't really matter where you get started. But most people are going to start out as affiliate marketers. Right. And, and, you know, you're saying that your big breakthrough came when you created your own product. That seems like a like a big jump, like a, like a really big jump. Very big jump. Yeah, so how, how did you how did you get there and how did you because I, I know the big objection to that is, well, I haven't created any success. How can I create my own product? How did you go? Right. How did you do that? Yeah. So. Uh, I know that's a big jump, you know, from selling a twenty-five dollar product to two years later. But obviously, going into a two-year story, we would be way over twenty minutes with the time. But just to give you a, you know, an idea, I was marketing for another um, affiliate uh, who was making a ton of cash, and I, I remember I made some, you know, whimsical sales here and there, um, and I just remember saying to him. They talk about tracking and, you know, tracking your squeeze page and making sure you know how many opt-ins you get. And then I asked like a pretty, I thought it was a pretty like simple question. Well, I want to be able to track how many, you know, hits I get to your site and be able to track that. And he goes, oh, well, you can't do that. I was like, well, well why? I, I, this is, you know, to help you sell more, but I want to be able to understand the numbers. And he goes, well, this is my product and, you know, I, I have the control, but I, I, I don't let people do that. And I was like, well, I want control. <laughs> How do I get that control? And that question, you know, began to circulate in my mind. And like most things, when you hear it once, it, you know, some people are these freaks, you know, 22 year old kids, you tell them one thing one time and they just get it. You know, they just rock off with it. And six months later, they're making a million dollars a year. And you're, this is, these are the stories that you hear that, you know, makes people go crazy when they're not making a million dollars in their first six months. But the truth is, the majority, the vast, vast majority, it takes a long time to get a good idea to then turn that idea into, you know, something viable that actually brings them a return. Right. So 
So for me, it was just the um, that idea of how do I get that? How do I get that control? How do I create my product? And of course, you know, the first objection that everybody's going to have is, well, you know, I don't have any experience. Uh, my my six, my track record has been not successful yet thus far in the past. How do I expect to then sell something to somebody who you know? is potentially going to use my product to get a result, which I haven't had. Any. So the, the easiest way and the uh, fastest way to do that is leverage. So um, leverage in other people's content uh, is the best way to do this. You know, um, one of the ways, and there's multiple, there's hundreds of different ways is to do an interview, you know, do an interview with somebody who, um, who has the experience, has the credibility, has the expertise, and now all you have to do is just repackage. And how to do that, you know, that's the technic technicality part, but what to do is exactly that. I mean, one of the greatest books of all times, and I'm sure, no, about a million dollars that you've read it, Think and Grow Rich. Right, absolutely. <laughs> right, so uh, Napoleon Hill, was not, you know, not an expert, but interviewed 50 of the top leading, uh, in, uh, in, you know, industrial empire giants in his industry, and uh, later, later became one of the greatest bestsellers of all time. And the guy didn't even create, you know, his own content. It was content from others that he withdrew. Same exact concept in a very small scale, and you can duplicate that success. So using other people's content by you know, that will be the thing that will help you to do that when you don't have the results. And then when you have the results, now you can start sharing your own experiences and your own twist and spins on concepts to become a big, uh, recognized authority within your niche. Right, right. Awesome. Awesome. I love that. And I love the idea of, you know, being able to leverage other people's content or, or other people's expertise. We talk about that a lot. And I think especially when you're getting started, you got to look at those avenues. You got to look at those angles. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you, you mentioned uh, list building. You mentioned, uh, you know, the money is in the list. And, and obviously, building your email list is one of these key things. Um, were you building your list before you created your own product? Or was that one of the challenges that you had as well? Uh, I was, but it was through osmosis, like <laughs> all the different smorgage boards of uh, affiliate products that I promoted, I, you know, created a capture page. So I, they weren't necessarily targeted lists. Um, you know, there were people who were in the, interested in making money online, but there was no, there was no purpose to it other than just trying to make money from the product that I wasn't mailing these people. I wasn't, you know relationships with these people they were just you know accumulating so um, once I finally uh, learned how to leverage other people's content I started to tailor that specific product so that when those people who actually joined my list were on there it was very specific to an industry to a niche and then I started to, to build with a purpose you know, and once you start building, once you have a product that converts, building with a purpose becomes easy because first of all, you're going to be able to monetize and actually make money. And then most importantly, you're going to have a targeted list of people who you can mail and build a relationship with and send other offers, other affiliate offers to on a later date, which will make you even more money. So, and then the money becomes free and then you duplicate what I did by accident when I mailed my, you know, fraternity brothers, you know, two years, three years ago for that and and it's it's an awesome process to really create money out of thin air because i'll tell you what doing that compared to doing door to door you know I, <laughs> this is the easiest thing in the world once you once it clicks you know yeah yeah absolutely so i, I know list building is is one of your specialties it's what you work, work with your students your coaching students on as well um and actually right. in the premium session you're going to show us the funnel that you used and exactly what you did right. You generate a list of ten thousand in ninety days, which I, which actually ended up being twenty thousand in ninety days. Correct? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's awesome, and I'm excited for our premium members to uh, to check that out because that is an, an incredible session. Um, yeah. But so if we if we focus on list building, um, I'm curious, you know, to to share with our viewers. What are the activities that people should be focusing on then? Because I, I'm going to, you know, the majority of people listening to this right now, I, I'm going to assume that they have a list less than a thousand people. Right. 
uh, most have even less than that. We, I mean, we've surveyed our audiences and it's incredible, you know, 80 to 90% of people have a list that's smaller than a few hundred people, you know, on their email list. And yet we all know that it's the most important thing in, in marketing. So let's focus on that right now. Let's focus on that right now. Give our viewers and listeners, um, what are the activities that they should be focusing on to go out there after this interview is done and start building their list? Right. Okay. Well, the first thing is you need to find a product that people want and need and, you know, I have a desire for. You don't want to, um, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. I mean, I don't even know how long I've been in this industry. I don't think anything's really changed much other than just putting a spin on it. The, the idea is just getting in front of a whole bunch of targeted people and putting an offer that they already want, need, and desire and just selling it to them because it's already selling. And, um, and I think the easiest thing for someone to do when they're new is just to leverage, um, you know, affiliate marketing spaces out there. Um, I could give you one just right off the top of my head. I mean, if I was literally just starting from scratch right now and I wanted to create a product that sold, I would go straight to JB Zoo um, and I would look at the top, you know, top 10 products that sold in the last 30 days. And I would check out what those products are and I would, you would see some, Similarities. I mean, if you if you had some kind of um, you know tracking for a year, you would see that they're all kind of the same. They're all either on list building, CPA, uh, YouTube, Instagram's super hot now. So you might that's probably up there. There see was Fiverr, Amazon. You know, there you're going to see some uh, common threads and similarities of the products that have actually. Um, are popular and that's the reason why they're popular is because they're being sold people are buying them people want them people need them so that's the first step if you don't know what to sell then how can you sell it so then once you get there now you that puts you on the right path to finding a product that people sell uh, more I mean finding a product people want and need and then you just go out and then you duplicate uh, that kind of product you don't copy it you know you just duplicate the similarities of the benefits and the, the selling points for what they sold the product for. And then you, then you go off and you sell it. You, you find somebody who's an expert, you know, such as yourself or, you know, if you know, can't, some people can't reach you or wouldn't be able to, the, you, there's always other people that you could go to in order to do that. Um, you know, there's, there's a number of different places where you can interview experts. Word Forma is a great place uh, to find experts um, and people who are hungry to, just to be interviewed, just to be expert and be willing and happy to help you. And even if they, you know, if they need to be paid, you can do that and it'll be well worth it because the investment that you'll make into hiring that person for that hour spot will pay you 10, 20, 100 times full, you know, so it's worth it. And you have to think like a, an entrepreneur, you can't think like an employee. You can't think, oh, I have to spend a little, little bit of money. I don't want to do that. Well, how are you going to build a business? Like you, you got to really, really keep that in, in general. And I know that most people want to make money and they want to build, you know, a huge, you know, amount of uh, um, income. But one thing that Jim Rohn talks about, you know, we, personal development and your income will never exceed your level of personal development. And if you can't get your head wrapped around the fact that you're going to have to do a little bit of investing before you're going to be able to get to that point of building, don't even start. That's so, you know, I guess the first place is start with your mind because you will have to, you know, put some money up front, but it's going to be worth it. And as long as you stay on that path of finding the right a product someone wants and needs, finding someone who is an expert to, the, to actually fulfill on the promise that you sold them, and then getting in front of those people and selling them by, you know, either, you know, whatever traffic source you, you choose to use, and then you're just going to make money. It's, it's really that simple. And I, I wish it was more complicated than that, but sometimes we overcomplicate things. Yeah, I, I, I've seen that a lot with a lot of the people that I've worked with, a lot of the students that, that uh, I've been around is, is I find that so many people make internet marketing so much more complicated than it is. Um, I mean, I mean, really, it, it comes down to some basic fundamentals. And I know I focus a lot of my training now on fundamentals. I don't, I don't, spend much time training on the latest gizmo or gadget or the latest traffic technique because it, none of that will help you if you don't have these fundamentals that you're talking about in place, right? Right. Yeah. And I mean, a byproduct is you'll be building a list for free. 
<laughs> right? Uh, that, that's the end game, right? Because once you sell that product, you know, you're going to be, it's not everyone's going to buy, but you'll be able to follow with a middle later date, but you'll be able to follow with a later date and afford to because now you're making money. Now you can add value. Now at the website, and now you can send other offers to those people as you period consistently build the list. And over time, you'll have, you know, depending how, depending on how consistent you are, hundreds of thousands of people on your list. And that's a beautiful thing. That's, it's crazy. Like my, my, my friend was talking about that. I have, more than a football stadium of people that I can mail with the click of a button. I mean, that that's the goal, you know? That's what gives you the freedom. <laughs> and, it, and it's amazing because, you know, this is, this is what the internet has done for all of us is this opportunity now that we all have. It's really leveled the playing field because all of us have access to the same advertising mediums that are used by multinational corporations, billion dollar corporations. And we can use the exact same marketing mediums. You know what I mean? Like email marketing, Facebook, retargeting. You know, I mean, all of these uh, marketing strategies are available to you and me out of our, you know, home offices. It's, it's incredibly powerful if we really wrap our heads around what we've got access to. It's incredible. It's like it reminds me of uh, The Matrix when, uh, when Neo is fighting Morpheus. And he's, this is for the first time he's in the training center. And he says... Does it matter? It doesn't matter if I'm me being stronger or faster. It doesn't matter here. You know, it's you're we're on the same playing field. I mean, that's where the, the point of the scene was. I mean, it's it doesn't matter. You can be a woman. You could be disabled. You can be you know you know a, a child, a seventeen year old child. Like there is no discrimination. You know, this is one one you know one nation under all. Like. You have the power, and as long as you have the information, as long as you have the right knowledge, and as long as you apply what you learn, you know, from people who have the success that you want, you how could you not have that success too? Yeah, you know, yeah. That's why we're, you know, that, it's a beautiful thing. It is, yeah. That's what get, I can see. You're as passionate about that as, as I am. It gets yeah, it gets I, me. I got chills. I, I don't know. I, I want to build another list right now. You just made me work. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well. I'm I'm excited for you to share the um you know your exact process in in the premium session because it's a really detailed process it's very specific and for anyone who's looking to create some you know fast results and build your list fast I mean that's that's what you do um let, let's talk about traffic really quickly because that's another issue that a lot of people find is a big challenge okay. um, there's so many products one of the most popular products sold are products on traffic traffic generating products because obviously that's what the market thinks they desperately need and somehow everybody's always struggling with getting traffic and yet traffic for for you and me as we understand is as simple as clicking a button and you right. can get traffic right so can you simplify right. getting traffic how do you get traffic to your websites um you know what what is the secret to getting traffic right uh, secret to, I'm, for me personally, I'm in the uh, email marketing list building space. So I use and leverage email lists to build my, um, my campaigns, my offers, everything. And that's how I get traffic. Uh, I think the best way to, to get it is to find a targeted group of, uh, prospects of niche that your, that your product services, and then just send that offer over and over again. Um, so email, email traffic is the number one way I get traffic. Um, I'm dabbling with Facebook, YouTube. I'm playing with a lot now more than ever because I want to be more public and more visual. So that's where I'm going to spaces like that. I'm not expert there, but where my, uh, my strength lies is within the email marketing and solo advertisement. Um, is definitely one of the big, um, things that I use also e-zines um, are very very big as well article e-zines which is a little bit different than solos uh, but still the same concept of using and leveraging other people's lists which actually very powerful which makes you know gives me a lot of bang for my buck especially when I have a higher uh, ticket in products that I use that you know people buy 997 you know easy now there's a lot of um, mixed opinions about solo ad email email marketing solo advertising um solo ads 
so many marketers, so many affiliate marketers, um, marketers in the home based business niche, they're, they're told to go buy solo ads. And so they do, they go buy solo ads, they send traffic to their offers, they spend a few hundred dollars, they get a bunch of leads, very few sales. And the 90 to 95% of people, I think, um, of the general marketers that go out and buy solo ads, they do not make a profit on their buys. Okay, right. they're losing money on their buys. Right. What is your advice? What is your advice? How do you make solo ads work? What's the secret? Uh, yeah, uh, um, I see it every year. It's like cyclical, and all these huge, you know, big campaigns where these people are going to make tons and tons of money and million dollar marketer here. I mean. I, I, it's like it's about four to six every year that come out that are just huge and fat out because no one makes in them any, any money like they have everybody else's so but the um, the way to make soul ads work and the way it's always worked and will continue to work is um, you have to have lower price point products and you have to differentiate yourself from the masses that send one specific specific page to an offer. If you are like Joe Blow and everybody else who continues to send the same page to the same offer, you know, if you're the first, you may get, you know, some luck and start to sell, but after the next hundredth person, your your campaigns are going to get less and less ineffective, which is why many 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 people are experiencing what you just uh, spoke about right now. It's because they they, they're not having any success. They're spending a ton of money and nothing's coming back. They'll be lucky if they get one sell. And uh, unfortunately, they're, you know, they're just misled. They, I mean, it definitely solo traffic works. It works, it works, it works. It's providing the lifestyle that many people want to live for thousands of people across the board all over the world. Uh, but you have to do it the right way. You can't come into uh, a market the same way that you come into other markets, you know? So with us, within this industry, you have to be able to create your own, uh, either front end, small ticket price point offer. Um, that's a very, that it's a, you know, anywhere between seven to $27, maybe 37 as well. Got to really feel that out and see if the, you know, if you can get it to be profitable at that. And, um, you know, then you start to sell. You you create something of value that's related to what you're ultimately selling. Um, you know, so that you can all make your make some money back, and then now you can afford to then um, follow up with these people who you're going to follow up with in the back end. And that's what's going to you know be able to get your buyers to see this offer, who are people who have raised their hand with a credit card and said, "I can spend money." because they've proven that through making your campaign profitable and eventually you will get ticket sales to your product. If you don't do it that way, it's going to be very, very difficult. It, you have to have a lot of money uh, to spend uh, just to see something come back, in it, but it'll never be a, a profitable campaign. It'll be one that you'll go into for me. I would say that didn't work, and that's the furthest thing from the truth. So, you know, the secret, you got to create your own front end offer. That's why, you know, I harped on the, in fact, in the very beginning, that was the aha moment for me. Because once you can create your own offer, you can sell anything. <laughs> you can sell anything afterwards. You know, that's that's that gives you the power that empowers you to really control your destiny in this space. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing that because I think I think that's that's really the key. You know, I see so many affiliate marketers going out there just trying to promote their opportunity. Uh, and you know uh, it worked it yeah, worked yeah. one thing i just have to say if you're promoting a business out who ever comes to me or anybody else who buys soul ad do not i repeat do not say send this swipe to this link please you are you're in for a world of hurt i'm telling you it just does not work i'm sorry I had to get it out yeah, sorry, just just repeat that one more time because you kind of cut off there. You're talking yeah. about sending sending uh you know sending a link right direct to the company capture page. Yeah, the company capture page, and then the same exact email swipe that the company right. offers. You know because you know you're gonna have imagine a thousand different vendors who are probably you're probably on the they're on this many lists are shared. You know so. 
everyone's seeing that same thing over and over and over again, it's going to be less and less effective. Consider it just like a Geico commercial that you've seen for the hundredth time. Eventually, you're so desensitized to it. Even if it was funny the first time, by the hundredth time, you're ready to move on. So get creative. Now, some vendors will create the copy themselves. You have to ask them, but if they don't, you got to take that initiative and just change things up a little bit. You have to be able to empower yourself by doing differently what the masses are doing because the masses are not making money in this industry. And that's what that's what you said right from the beginning was different was about differentiating yourself, um, especially if you're doing solo ad email marketing. And I mean that goes across the board no matter what marketing strategy you're doing. But no specifically with solo ads and email marketing, it's so right. important to differentiate yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's and I mean, that's where it comes. The weird statistic was that ninety five percent is it changes ninety seven percent whatever it is you know don't make money online it's, it's because they're doing what everybody else does and you can't can't do that and expect to get better results right absolutely I mean everyone wants the easy way out everyone wants the easy ticket right they they just they see the testimonials on 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 some you know biz op page that they want to promote. And uh, they're given the email swipe copy. They're, they're, they're told, hey, just send this out and you're going to make money because look at these people. They all did. And what they don't tell you in those testimonials is that all those people made their money in the first three months of that offer. Or right. they already had a big email list to mail to. Right. Have you ever met anybody online who from scratch to 100,000 or more did not do any work? Have you met anyone? No, absolutely not. Yeah. I've, I've never read it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I interview, that's, I mean, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm interviewing all the best marketers and right. you know, <laughs> it, it's the same, it's the th same thing. Everyone's creating their own stuff. Everyone's putting in the work and the energy and the effort. Yeah, it's, it's in like, if, if you can just, if someone can just hear that and just let that be the awakening thing. Yes. It gets easier. Yes. You can have autopilot income, Yes, you can hire assistants. Yes, you can outsource. Yes, you can do less and less and less work until maybe you just don't do really anything except just manage the process. And maybe it really is the four-hour work week, but you don't work week building a business from scratch. Like, you don't start off doing the four-hour work week building a business from scratch. You, you, that's the end result, but that's not where it begins. You know, you have to do everything. And unfortunately, this isn't a brick and mortar business. So sometimes people don't look at it as serious, but it's just as serious as, you know, doing everything from, you know, the marketing to, you know, um, the garbage. You take it all the way through. You have to do all that stuff in the beginning in your online business. Consider it like a brick and mortar business. There's going to be an investment of time, energy, and capital, but eventually it will pay off where you can be an absentee owner, you know, but not yet. Awesome. Scratch. Awesome. Great advice. Great advice. A lot of wisdom from, uh, from such a young man. <laughs> but I think that's, I think that's the key. And you, you, you said it, uh, you know, already before is the personal development. It's the mindset. It's getting over some of those, those mental hurdles, especially if it, like myself coming from an employee mindset right. Right. and trying to now be an entrepreneur. And this, this is a big shift that I try. I, I, I coach a lot of students on as well is shifting their mindset from employee to entrepreneur because I think most marketers online don't really understand what it really means to be an entrepreneur. And it, and it means what you're talking about here right now. Right. Got to do everything. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you got to. I mean, your, your success, it depends 100% on you, you know, until you can get it elsewhere. We can take, and then this comes from T.R. Becker where he talks about taking yourself out of being a clog in the wheel where, you know, you can say I'll make money in transactions without you physically having to be there. And the more you can take yourself out of that, that's when you become free. But, you know, right. that day, get that out of your head. You got to, you got to work. <laughs> you got to work, baby. And the, the thing is, is we're sold this dream in this, this whole internet marketing space. We're sold the dream of the internet lifestyle. Right. And so right. that, I think that's, that's the challenge is people come into this industry and they're sold that dream and they see that dream. They're like, yeah, that's what I want. And that's what I'm going to have. But it's, right. you got to see the work that it takes to get to that dream, to get to that point, because it doesn't just, the internet doesn't give it to you. Right. It's possible. The opportunity is there. You got to right. seize it, but you also got to work for it. Yeah. That's critical. I hope people really take that away from this, from this interview. Right. Awesome. And unfortunately, unfortunately, with marketing, it's never going to change. 
It's, I mean, because that's the way it is. You know, people, you know, that's the way the industry perpetuates itself. You know, people, they see it, they get fooled by it, they learn that you have to work, and then they resell the fact that it's easy as if they've forgotten that they, it's not that they've forgotten, but, you know, it's easier to sell something that doesn't take work than it is to sell something to someone that it does. That's just the bottom line. That's the way it is. And you just got to, you got to read between the lines and, and do different. Well, but that is marketing. Marketing sells you the end goal that you want. Right. I mean, look at any marketing from any corporation, whether it's Coca-Cola or BMW or whatever, some weight loss product, they're right. all selling you the end goal. Absolutely. But it's not a magic pill, right? Right. It's not a magic pill, you know, just by be buying a BMW, that's not going to give you, you know, the status and the success and the women, you're still going to have to put in the work, right? Yeah. But, but it's, uh, you know, but, but every marketing is all about selling that dream. That's what marketing is. Right. Absolutely. That's never going to change. Just like you said. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. I love, yeah. I love, I love these, I love these interviews. I love these talks. These are real talks here. And, uh, we're talking about the real, real stuff here that, uh, you know, maybe you're not going to hear on the sales pages and in the testimonials, but this is the truth. This is absolutely the truth. <laughs> this is the real, yo. Cool, man. Um, <laughs> All right, let's let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up, Justin. Um, we're we're going to get into like specific details about your funnel and how you build your email list so fast and so efficiently, and actually for no cost. That, that's really cool. We're going to get into that into the premium session for our premium members. But right now, leave our listeners with three big tips from Justin Tillman to get out there and to take your business to the next level. Whether you're starting out or you're looking to grow your business to the next level, what are three key tips right now to focus on, Justin? Uh, find a hot niche that people are already buying a product. Do not reinvent the wheel. Do not reinvent the wheel. Um, number two, which is, I think, something I should have mentioned and we didn't really go into, but I think it's very important. Find a mentor. You know, find somebody really, really who has been where you want to go and just copy that person. And then number three, you know, whatever guidance, advice you get, you know, work. Work at it, work at it, work at it, work at it until it happens. And it will happen because if one man can do it, you can do it too. That's it. I'm glad you mentioned that about finding a mentor because I think that that is really important. Don't try to do this on your own, man. Right. Fast track the results. If, if you've decided on, you know, your path, the path that you want to take for creating a business online, because there's so many different ways to make money online, right? You know, you're talking about solo ads, building your email list through solo ads and email marketing. That's one path. That's not the only path. Right. But if you're like, yeah, that sounds really cool. You know, you watch Justin's, um, uh, the premium inter interview where you're going to show them exactly what your process is. You watch that and you say, yeah, that's what I want to do. Well then find right. somebody like Justin to, to mentor you and, sh and, and take you through that path and help you to fast track and overcome those hurdles and challenges. That's what all of us did. I mean, I, I had a mentor. I've had several mentors. And every single successful marketer online will, will tell you exactly what Justin just said right here. So I'm glad you mentioned that. So let, let me try that again. <laughs> that, uh, so finding a product, right, um, that sells in the marketplace, creating the product yourself so you can have the control, building a list, yeah, and then, and then finding that mentor. I think those would be the four things that I would suggest. And then you do all those things and, you know, you, you can't help but, you can't help but trip in, trip in the profit. So <laughs> <laughs> Trip into profits. I love that. Justin, thank you so much. Uh, awesome, awesome time uh, chatting with you. Uh, delivered lots of great value, lots of great advice, very specific details too, and, and some, you know, some real truth about uh, marketing and specifically solo ads. I hope uh, our listeners and our viewers take this away and, uh, you know, really start to apply this uh, into your business so you can start to create results uh, in your business as well. Justin, thank you so much for being here. We're going to leave some links down below so you can get in touch with, uh, with Justin. And if you're looking for great traffic, you can purchase some traffic from Justin. He's a great vendor that I recommend as well. Um, so we'll leave those links down below. And we'll see you next week with another online Playmaker session. Thanks for now. Thanks. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed this week's Playmaker session. If you love the session, subscribe now to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes. Be sure to also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just type in online Playmakers in the search bar and click subscribe and be sure to leave a five-star review. All of the episodes, show notes, transcripts, resources, and bonuses are available on the blog over at onlineprofitplaybook.com 
along with several bonus free tutorials I've created for you as well. Your fast track to results is to follow the playmakers. You can download their closely guarded playbooks and follow them step by step to grow your influence, build your audience and create results in your business right now. Head over to OnlineProfitPlaybook.com and join the playmakers to get full access today. Thank you again for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week as we bring you another power-packed session with the top playmakers online. This is Norbert Orlowitz signing off.